All right, time for a Skarner game. I'm against the Fiddlesticks, which is a pretty good matchup because I don't, like, lose anything against him. He will not invade me, like, ever. So, yeah, it's pretty good for me there. Apart from that, lanes to gank are all fairly easy, to be honest, with Skarner, especially after 6. Early game, it's better to go for top lane here because Gregus is the only one that really has, like, proper CC that they can land. Unless An Echo manages to land this stun, of course. Um, apart from that, eh, it's not really possible. When I hit 6, though, I can easily ult, like, any of these people. Like, and just get a free kill on him, basically. So, yeah. That is uh, the goal here. I'll just be going for a full clear and just clearing towards top side, seeing if I can maybe do a gank on this gangplank, and then that's about it. You want to start with Q. Second, you want to take E. Usually, I tend to take another point in Q, because it just speeds up my clear speed massively. Initially, you want to make sure that you kite the camp towards your bot side, so they can do more auto attacks like this. Save you some time. Alright, then pull it into this thing. So you're standing in here to get your bonuses. You can smite this, but usually it's probably better to not, because it doesn't really give you more clear speed, but it gives you more HP back, because it scales off missing HP. So it's better to just make sure you don't kite it, or don't smite it, and maybe like smite wolves like here, for example. Because this will not affect any of that, so this is slightly better. Okay, take another point in Q for clear speed. Mid is having a fight. It is winning the fight. By the way, the elo of this game is approximately Diamond. Diamond 3, Diamond 2, whatever it is. This account itself is like Diamond 360 LP or something. So yeah. Take this, move on to red buff. Pop a potion just in case. It's not necessary at all, but I'm not going to need those potions regardless right now. So I could just do this, no problem. Make sure the kite is back to save myself a couple seconds walking later. Don't lose auto attacks though. Okay. The smite here. The red side clear is slightly better because you can double camp blue and grump. But this clear is not too bad. Fiddlestick is obviously going to be faster if he does his clear properly. But yeah. I should be able to, uh... Is he gonna really ward right now? Okay, I think I have to give up top scuttle. Actually. I'm not gonna make it there. This man actually went for an interesting... How do you ping me for that, mate? That That is not a thing. Okay. He just got caught out by the fiddlesticks there. It is what it is. Okay, it is that type of player. Let's just mute him instantly. I have completely no lane priority on both side either, so I can't even contest both scuttle, unfortunately. All I can do is just clear. For me, this is fine. Like, Skarner gets more so online after 6. Ganks become a lot easier at that point, so anything prior to that is okay if you don't really get anything. As long as your lanes just don't completely fail, then you should be fine after 6 regardless. Alright. I'm just gonna do another rotation. Like, I don't need to back yet. It's not necessary. Just do another rotation, because without backing here, I can still easily clear, but I'm looking to hit 6 as soon as possible. I also got some mid-wave experience, which helps me quite significantly here. Make sure to hit the small ones for the passive proc. I'm gonna keep my smite here for Krugs, and then I'm just gonna do Krugs and recall. I should be very close to 6 at that point, at like a 530 speed, which is really good. I use W for shield. I'm gonna smite here. Like, this is all fine. Fiddlesticks did get a kill and he got double scuttle because of his massive lane priority that he had. Like, he had lane priority in all three lanes, basically. So there's nothing I can do about that. 
If that situation arises, you're just going to have to give up Scuttle. It is what it is. Like, you have no choice at that point. It's just over. Oh, I cancelled it. Whoops. So, yeah, that just kind of sucks, but it's fine. Let's rush into camp tank here. All right. Looks like an Echo is struggling a little bit. Again, nothing I can do about it. Really. He's probably still pinging me. That stuff like that, you just have to mute it. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. He walked out of vision pretty well there. I, th I think this guy's gonna die. Yeah, because he got the kill, he did, like, hit the higher level. Okay. My bot lane just backed as well. I'm gonna take, take, take that, sorry, for the 15 extra gold I get. It's gonna have to sit here and wait. I have no choice. It's unfortunate, but if you get games like this, where you just have three losing lanes, basically, then there's not a whole lot you can do but just farm up, hit six, and then look for the play. Can I even make it to this guy? Nope, that's the rock I heal. Hmm. Alright, well... There is a guy behind you right there, buddy. I'm gonna have to run bolt here. I don't really have much of a choice. Take this guy, turn around at the end. Focus the Z down. He's probably gonna go back to this clone. Oh, it's on back to that clone, okay. Don't do this. We got a free kill, just leave it. That's just... Yep, yeah, okay. Never mind, we'll leave my team to die. They overextended there. There's not much to say about that otherwise. I can't go for Scuttle here. Zed will kill me. Which really sucks. My fi the Fiddlesticks is extremely strong. Because he got two kills before he instantly reset. So he got this as an item reset. Which is massive. But my team got the kill and then overextended again back on the Fiddlesticks. Which was not the move. Allowing Fiddlesticks to go back in. Should have gone mid here to take the wave. Ah, oh, fine. It's a mistake on my end. I should have just taken mid wave there. I got one kill with my ultimate, but yeah, after that we overextended the rest of our play and it just wasn't happening. I make have to make sure at this point that you just go back to clearing your camps, wait for your ultimate to be back up. That's the dragon, it was kind of to be expected, yeah. It's okay. Wait for my ult to be back up and then uh, we make a play from there. I just have to now just farm up. Make sure that I don't fall too far behind on fiddlesticks. And that is what it is. And my best bet is to just keep going bot lane. Because the bot, laner don't, the bot laners don't have summoners now. So if I can just use like this plant for example to go over the wall. Then I will be able to catch up to them. With black blue smite when it's up, and then it should be good. Okay. Yeah, Fiddlesticks is getting a lot of these free ganks off. That's not something I like to see. Really rough. Mm. Going for gangplank here doesn't really make much sense. I should just recall and go for bot lane. Sadly, don't have my chem tank yet, but there's not much I can do about that. It would have been very nice. I'm actually gonna hold on to the gold, because I want to buy either tier 2 boots or chem tank, and it's just not been going well for me this, this early game. I've been missing all the scuttles. Normally, at this stage in the game, you should have, like, your chem tank and your tier 2 boots mostly finished. You can get, like, some decent ganks slash, like, some scuttles. It should be fine, but in this game specifically, that is not the case for me. Which is extremely unfortunate, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. As it stands. The uh, Fiddlesticks just has a big lead on me. Like, even in farm, like, he's getting some wave farm here and there as well. 
I'm not too far behind in clear, like not much that much slower than him in clear speed, but overall farm wise, it's definitely making a difference. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna probably go for bot scuttle when it spawns, and then maybe look for the gank on the Varus slash bot lane. I'm just gonna wait for vision there. Of course, everything is just warded up. It's just oh. All right, fiddle is bolts. So I'm just gonna take scuttle real quick. Please don't die to that. That would be very unfortunate. Fiddle is right there. Gonna take his camp. I can't go for like the, the uh, platform or anything. Or the platform, the uh, shrine. Can't do that. I just gotta take this camp real quick and leave. Oh, that's good enough. Don't hit the small one. Please echo. Thank you. I can do this. If I can just get the ult on the Zed, it should be dead. Oh, there's a control. There's a ward here. Unfortunate. Mm, ganks really are not looking too great for me. Okay, they still died to the fiddle ult. He just waited there for 10 years. He's gonna take a turret hit. Uh, that's a kill for my echo. That's okay. Let's shut down. Yeah, the uh, fiddle got another free kill there. Really, really good for him. Gonna try to run here. Okay. Solid. He flashed and everything. Not bad. I had an opening there to push that out. I'm gonna have to help him push the wave here. I'm gonna try to give him most of it. Wherever I can. They don't really have to like anything that I have to worry about. So for me, buying like CDR boots will be my best bet here. Little is bot side. I'm just gonna instant recall, get chem tank now. And then I'll buy my tier 2 boots as well. I... Looking at that team is definitely just a situation where I can easily opt for the CDR boots. I get another health crystal. Let's see. I have my ult in 50 seconds. All right, now I instantly have 40 ability haste, which is really nice from these two items. So my ult cooldown will be much, much lower. Uh, the echo didn't respect the, uh, the bot lane at all there. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Mm, this really sucks, because Fiddle is going to ult here very soon, and it's just going to be a sad life. I, Fiddle is in that bush waiting to ult, I'm pretty sure. going to have to uh, do my wolf camp here. It's a tough situation here because I don't just I don't know. Oh, fiddle six. Please kill him, please kill him, please kill him. We just need this guy to die right now. Thank you. He got the shutdown, I'll take it. Need to go for that Soraka, buddy. Mm, isn't happening. Okay. That's okay, I suppose. I got the shutdown for Fiddlesticks towards my Echo. Like, playing as a tank here. Kind of sucks. Well, if I got the auto attack on him there, that would have died. He actually would have died, because that would have given him, like, one or two extra turret shots into that damage rotation from him there, and it would have been really bad for him. But it's okay. 
We're looking okay. Like, we do have some late game scaling. I just need to get my team off the ground here. Somehow, by, like, getting some picks here and there. The early game wasn't played very well on their side, so it is what it is. As a tank jungler, you're gonna have to deal with that. Just give, like, try to get picks. Don't, still, don't try to take the kills, because it's not gonna help you as much to carry. Because your team is gonna need damage to win team fights. You can gar basically guarantee them a free um, free target every team fight. So if you use your ult properly, it's always going to be a free kill. So it should always be a 4v5 realistically. Well, he is he's 100% dead. I don't know if we can do this. Alright, just get this guy out in the field, get the kill to my team, I don't want to lost hit it. That was close. Let's just take this altar real quick. Okay, solid. I couldn't really go in on that, I have to run top here. See if I can get the gangplank here. Should be able to. I have red buff so I can permanently kite him. I want to get my gangplank or not. Okay. Well, I can't get him to kill. He missed his barrel, so it is fine. But I wanted to try to give my Gragas to kill because, again, uh, he's actually also building tanks. So between us, it doesn't really matter. The gangplank overextended slightly there. So I have a free kill opportunity, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna go get Deadman's Plate. I need to move. I need just need that move speed to make those catches happen as much as possible. Really, get the health crystal here. All right. So far, it's looking pretty good. I have my ult back very soon again, so that's good as well. I can pretty much pick anybody. I need to get this guy. I'll get him. I just need to get some setup. Like I just have to run at him. Ah, oh, that's a very nice Varasult. Nope, you're going with me under the turret, buddy. Ah, uh, my Echo and bot lane. Damn, that was a very, very good Varasult from him. That's um, like the Varasult into the uh, Fiddlesticks play there was really clean. I'm just gonna stand here and hit the Soraka, really. It's just not a play we can win. I need to get this Varus. He's worth a lot of gold. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fiddle Six could literally be there to mess us up again. Fiddle Ult is not something to be disrespected right now because it's pretty much on a very low cooldown. We want to be playing for the Dragon here. Oh, he's gonna die. He's literally going to die. This is not good. No, 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 no. He's gonna get minion blocked and... Oh, yeah, okay. I will try to make it. Just... Please. Oh my god. He's gonna fiddle ult here soon. I take the Eltar. Okay, that's a free kill. We take those. No, 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 no. This is this is not good. This is gonna be this is fiddle ult prime target. Don't do it. Just let that dragon reset because we don't want to finish that and get fiddle of free ult. We wait for Echo here to assassinate the Soraka. Okay, just need to play it slow. Need to wait for Fiddle to die. Oh god. This is looking pretty grim right now. It has to be Varus if we're going in. I didn't even kill him, man. I just didn't have the damage for that. That was my bad. I really thought I'd be okay there, but he actually... I think he may have healed. 
Okay, yeah, that, this is now bad. Vera's got a clean up there. That's my bad. I just I went too deep on that one. I should have just played that slower and just let him, like let it have it. I'm gonna have to uh, get this guy. He's worth 600 gold. My team is getting stronger, so that's really important here. I think he might be dead. Yeah, he's gonna die. Actually, maybe. Echo just needs to uh, focus the Z, which I'm not sure what he's doing exactly right now. He should have focused the Z in that situation. It would have been much better for him. Uh, we lose a dragon again. Okay. And that's that dragon's gone, though. All right, for me, my main role right now is just going to be kill the Varus. He doesn't have summoners now, I'm pretty sure. So any... Like, if he doesn't buy a QSS right now, then I should be in a good spot. Because I could just run at him. I should be fine. Hmm. It's a pretty tough game, to be honest. Like, really. But it should be good as long as we don't give up the dragons now. Like, the, like giving up more dragons now would be an issue. We also need to make sure that we start warding Baron. Okay. I'm gonna get some magic resist here. Sell the potion for this. Alright, I'm just gonna like Skarner ult this guy. Because he's worth the most gold. If I can donate him towards one of my teammates, that would be good. I'm gonna have to get it from a flank though, because the Varus does have his self peel function with his ultimate. Uh, that's not a play I can make. Close right here. Yep, there he is. Very predictable. Can't go in like this. I'm, I don't think my Jinx is actually strong enough. Yeah. The, this guy has, currently has too much safety. I would like to make a catch on him if at all possible. He's gonna die here soon if he doesn't... If he isn't careful. Yeah, okay. My Echo's dead. My guy. It's rough out here. Hmm. Gotta take this platform back, I guess. He just warded there. I don't know if I have the speed to catch up with him. I guess I could maybe cut him off like this. See if he's here. Yeah, no. And even got the double kill on top lane. Okay, then. Uh, it's hard. Like, at this point, Baron's gone. I I don't have damage on my team, really. So, we're in an awkward spot at the moment. I can't make a catch happen, like, easily either. Because we're not grouping, right? We're just completely split pushing here. Uh, it's just a gone Baron. Like, there's nothing I can do. Don't hit the plant too early, please. Okay, we got Baron. Now, oh, well, this kind of sucks, but we're okay. We did get the Baron, which is good. I just wasn't able to catch up with the Varus to ult him there for a free kill. Oh, he flashed for that. Interesting. I really want to... Oh, and we're going for the Zed. Did he just teleport back to his previous? He did. Wow. My, my Gragas has no damage. I griefed it. I really genuinely thought that I, if I just ult him, Gragas would have the damage. He has full tank. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. That is a misjudgment on my part. 100% misjudged on my part. All right, let's get this for more move speed. Damn, that was that was a miss misplay on my end, 100%. We still have Baron though, so I'm pretty happy about that one. I really thought if I just ult the guy, then I should be okay to, uh, well, like he's CC locked down. I'm gonna have to make sure I get this Varus.
I'm gonna have to flash ult Varus in the next fight and just instantly get him out. If As soon as I can kill that guy, like he doesn't have QSS right now, no he doesn't. So for me, it's literally just I run at him, flash ult him, and I, he has to die instantly or we lose the fight instantly, I think. So, yeah. Okay, let me stand on this control ward and wait for Varus. Ah, right. I would love to go for this right there, but my like my team is really not grouping with me, allowing me to they're not allowing me to make the pick. This the the, the real issue here is that they're just not allowing me to make the pick. Like they're they're standing on the other side of where Varus is, or Varus is like gonna be. So but Jinx. Take the plant, my guy. You're lower HP. Again, got hit. Yeah, no, this Varus should have died, but because my team was on the other side of the map in that, in that scenario, I can't do anything there. Yeah, this seriously sucks. I don't know what to do here. Alright, Echo cleaned that. I couldn't walk through Fiddle Ult, that's just not a possibility I have. Might be able to catch this guy. killed that guy as well i didn't have an opportunity to go for the varus in that fight i really wanted to but i got zoned by fiddle ult and initially here when he was hitting like towards me like slightly walking up i wanted to go in but because my team was on the other side of that of the the, the dragon basically if i ult him i can maybe drag him somewhat close to my team but it's never gonna be enough to the point where i catch him <clears throat> he's always gonna have like a way out at the end there and that would just be really really bad for us so yeah, that was a really awkward position. Ideally, what I'd like to see is if the Echo just shadows me. And then I just go in for the pick on Varus. That, that is the best scenario that could happen. Oh, I just need a little bit more gold. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not going to make it there. Yeah, no. That is a uh, mistake and a half. I got a very good shutdown of my of the gangplank there. I'm gonna get force of nature here for more move speed. I'm gonna have to type to my echo in a second here that I want to make the play because he needs to be shadowing me if I want to make that play happen. No, wait. I'm running out of base with chem tank here. That they just the enemy team just made a mistake. I'm dragging him away from Echo, so Echo has a way out. So there was a... The enemy team really just walked into that Echo ultimate. That is a play that was really nicely done for Echo from Echo there. I did give him a lot of kills on a like silver platter with my ultimates, which is really nice. I want to go mid hit turret here. My role is here is definitely not to uh, do the damage here. Of course, it's definitely just to pick somebody off and take as much damage as possible for them. Taking the inhibitor here isn't that good, but I guess we'll just do it anyway. I am almost 16. I will have flash ult ready still. So the next fight for me is basically just look to kill Varus. I should give this to him. He, I mean, he went. he's the strong member. He's the damage carry currently. I just need a little bit more experience. I just need to hit 16 here. Then we look for this Baron. I look for a pick. The Echo follows that up. Or the Jinx follows it up. Or somebody. I just need some DPS towards the Varus. He doesn't have a QSS yet still. I don't think the support is Mikael's either. Alright, I'm 16 now. This is good. I literally just need to look for any pick. I have Flash. I have Ult. So that's all I have to do. It can be anybody. They don't have QSS, so literally anybody will do. I think Soraka will also be a great pickoff for me. Ah, uh, I hate. Thank you. 
That's one kill. One person down. It doesn't really matter who it is as long as it's one of the damage carries in this position of the game. Soraka just flashed. We Baron here. Alright, I'm just gonna tank that straight on. Just make sure that I CC him wherever I can to tank the damage for my team. That's the move we make. We end now. And right there, I E the fiddlesticks and just walk into him to snare him in place so my team doesn't uh, get anything. Alright, GG's. Yeah, that's really how you want to play Skarner. Even if your lanes are losing, try to just look for those picks. Still give the, the kills to your carries as much as you can. And yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.